Good day, everybody. We are looking at, uh, we are continuing to look at uh, the subject of uh, crucibles, uh, how they affect us in our lives. Uh, before we look at uh, the subject matter of uh, this week, I would like to uh, invite everybody to a, a word of prayer as we invite the Holy Spirit to guide us. Shall we pray? Our kind and loving Father, we thank you for the subject uh, that we are talking about, which pertains to our salvation. As we shall be uh, looking into uh, the study of this week, we invite the Holy Spirit to guide us in everything and to interpret for our salvation and for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are looking at uh, the disciples, or should I say, uh, the ground rules uh, of going through the path uh, that we are supposed to go through. Uh, maybe the disciplines of staying on a path. This is what we want to look at. The disciplines of staying on a path. Which means that the path has to be uh, the right path. Uh, let's look at the Colossians 1 verse 29. Colossians 1 verse 29. I'll read it. To this end, I labor, struggling with all energy, which so powerfully works in me. Uh, I would like to uh, maybe uh, uh, zero in on uh, something that, has ha that happened in me, which I actually experienced. Uh, I know all of us, we have got different experiences in life. I'm a, an IT a, a specialist myself, and over the years, during my practice, this is one thing that I have actually noticed, which actually helped me. I actually found out about this, maybe through the hard knocks, but it was good because I found it before it was too late. That it is necessary all the time to be professional. By this, I mean that at times when people say, hear that we are an IT a professional, they think that you know everything. Yet, uh, there are a lot of things, IT is so broad. Uh, you can actually uh, zero in and know about networking, you can know about programming, you can, the discipline is just too broad. But when someone is not a, a part of that discipline, they will think that you know everything. Now, wh what I discovered, is that uh, what you need to do so that you stay uh, in the lane, so that you, you people don't uh, uh, dismiss you eventually. You need to explain uh, that uh, when, when something comes or someone uh, consults you, you need to be very uh, professional and explain to them that, okay, the area that you, you want me to, to do for you, I'll, I'll do my best, but however, it's not my strong point. Uh, you will need to be clear on that. If you don't do that, and they discover that it's not your strong point, you will lose them. Secondly, you need to be honest with that person. Uh, you need to explain to them that uh, maybe what they're asking you to do uh, is against the area that you are, you are, you are, you are, you are supposed to do, for, to do for them. You need to explain to them that, okay, what now you want me to do, uh, I cannot for professional reasons. I cannot go beyond this. Um, don't just go further and further and further as long as so that you just please them, no matter what. It's important. Then the third thing also, whatever you, you discover, uh, make sure that you, 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 you become professional. You don't disclose to a third person about what you discovered. Uh, uh, with uh, uh, pertaining to that person, so if if you 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 follow those those rules, you find that people will trust you, people will, will love to work with you. Those are the uh, rules that I discovered as I was uh, practicing. Now coming to uh, even to our Christian work, you find that there are ground rules that we need to follow. There are ground rules that we need to follow. Uh, before I even talk about these ground rules, I need to explain also that even if you go to any game, maybe a game of soccer, there are rules that you need to follow. If you don't follow those rules, you are out of the game. And within that game 
of soccer maybe, for example, of tennis, of basketball, whatever uh, uh, sport it is. Within uh, those rules, there can be rules for a particular tournament. So you need to uh, uh, um, uh, observe those rules, otherwise you are out of the tournament. We need to observe some ground rules for us to be able to withstand the heat of the crucibles. Um, as, as time goes by, the crucibles or the crucible that you'll be in, uh, the heat might be to extreme ends. And when the heat is extreme, uh, as long as you observe the ground rules, you will stay. But if you fail to observe, you have a problem. Now, the first rule that one needs to observe is you need to, be, uh, to know that you have a willpower. God, we know that God can do anything. God is all powerful. Uh, but there's one thing that God cannot do. He cannot force your will. So you need to have the will yourself. You need uh, to know that uh, God can go uh, to a certain extent, but he cannot go beyond. Uh, he cannot um, uh, uh, force you. You need to have that willpower to say, no matter how hot uh, the crucible is, I have the will. I want to go on. Uh, if you, you don't have that willpower, uh, we will lose you, or the crucible will actually burn you into charcoal. Uh, if you read uh, Philippians 2 verse 13, uh, it talks about that, that uh, we actually, God cannot force us, he can persuade us, uh, and uh, the will is, uh, you need to have the willpower yourself. The second uh, thing that you need to do, uh, you need to be prepared to overcome struggles. You need to be prepared to overcome struggles. Uh, this is the reason why we, we looked at that uh, verse, Colossians 1, verse 29. Uh, this is why we had to look at that verse. You need to overcome struggles. Every one of us, we have got struggles in life, struggles, um, uh, emotional struggles. How many times have we heard someone saying, um, I shouldn't have done that? Maybe in the heat of things, uh, I, I, I ended up doing APCT. I shouldn't have gone that mile. Uh, how many times have we had uh, someone saying, um, I, I, it was through, uh, it was maybe in the heat of things. Emotional struggles, uh, you need to overcome. Emotional struggles, uh, when the heat uh, is on, when the crucible, uh, the heat is going on and, and higher and higher and higher, you need to make sure that you have overcome your emotional struggles. Uh, you need to go beyond the feel-good factor. Now, the second, uh, under, the, under the struggles, you need to uh, also overcome the, the, the habits, bad habits. Uh, yes, learning can be difficult at times, but have you ever tried unlearning? Unlearning is more difficult. So you need to overcome uh, bad habits. You need to unlearn those bad habits because if you don't, you will fail to uh, withstand the heat of the crucible. So uh, those bad habits, you need to tame them down. This is why even Jesus in Matthew 5 verse 29, he says, in figuratively, he says it's better for you to walk straight into heaven uh, with one member of your body cut off yeah, as opposed to walk straight into hell with all your, your members of the body. Uh, it was figurative. He was trying to say, uh, you need to make sure that you, you, you tame um, your struggles. You need to tame your bad habits uh, if they are going to uh, affect you in terms of your, your spiritual life. You need uh, to overcome them. The other struggle is the supernatural struggle. Ephesians 6 verse 12 uh, actually uh, says that we fight against uh, we are not fighting against flesh and blood. Uh, and the devil uh, enjoys it when we uh, 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 look at him in abstract terms. Uh, he enjoys it. But the reality of the matter is the devil is there and he has uh, power. Uh, his powers were not taken away from him. 
So we need to know that we are fighting against a powerful force. Yes, we, uh, the side on which we are, which is Jesus' side, is more powerful. But the side that we are fighting or that uh, uh, Jesus is fighting, is also powerful. So if you undermine the devil at your own peril. So we need to uh, uh, overcome the struggle of uh, playing down the reality that the devil is there. Now, uh, so I said uh, there is the willpower. Uh, you need to uh, know that you, you have got the will. Uh, secondly, I said you need to be prepared uh, to overcome the struggles that you have. But the third uh, thing is you need to persevere. The heat as the heat turns on, you need to persevere. Go on, just like J uh, Jacob uh, before he became Israel. Uh, he had to end the word Israel because of his perseverance. Read uh, Gen Genesis 32. He had to persevere. We need to persevere also for us to, uh, to overcome. The fourth uh, thing is you need to commune with God all the time. Commune with God. Talk to him. Feed on his word. Read daily. Pray and let him know your feelings. He, uh, make sure that you have got that connection with God. Commune with him all the time. Uh, you will find that if you observe all these, uh, you will be able uh, to withstand the heat as the crucible is it turned on and the heat goes higher and higher, you will be able to uh, withstand it. Now, let's um, uh, run down what we have looked at. We, we agreed that uh, you need to have the willpower because God will not force you. Number two, we said you need to be uh, prepared to overcome the struggles. And those struggles, we said we, we have got emotional struggles, we have got struggles against our bad habits and also we have got a uh, struggle uh, 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 that undermines, at uh, times we tend to undermine the devil. You need to overcome that and know that you are fighting a, a, a real force. And then the third uh, thing is that we, you need to persevere. And uh, fourth, you need uh, to commune with God all the time. If you uh, manage to do this, you will be able to withstand the heat as the heat goes higher and higher. God will help you to withstand. Now, um, what I want you to take home is that um, in everything, every uh, field that you find yourself in, there are ground rules and you need to observe those ground rules. Also in this game of, 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 of fighting the devil, uh, we have got the ground rules. And those are the ground rules. If you follow those ground rules, the Holy Spirit will help us to overcome. He will never leave us alone. He will make sure that we overcome because we trust in him. If it is your uh, wish that uh, uh, you manage to pull through, I know uh, at one point or the other, we all have we all have these uh, rules. These uh, rules that we have to 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 to, to observe in these uh, crucibles that we we find ourselves in. Um, uh, if it's your will that the the Holy Spirit uh, needs to uh, help you overcome and you come out as a purified, refined gold, which uh, reflects uh, Jesus. If it's your will, um, we are we are going to pray right now and invite the Holy Spirit to even interpret some of the things, some of the truth that we did, uh, maybe did not uh, fully uh, touch on. Shall we pray? Our kind and loving Father, we thank you for the crucibles because they refine us. We pray that the Holy Spirit all the time empowers us to be able to uh, withstand the heat and to follow these ground rules so that at the end of the day, will come out triumphant, will come out uh, refined, and will come out ready to be with you in your kingdom. Thank you for the truth. We ask also the Holy Spirit to explain further this truth to us so that we understand better uh, and we are saved at the end of the day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.